QMetry Test Management for JIRA has been designed for agile development and testing teams. It provides a user-friendly interface that helps users define what to test and how to test it. Today, we are going to do a very critical activity, test authoring. The first step in test authoring is defining high-level requirements, which would usually be treated as epics or stories in JIRA. Let us explore how to create these now. First, let us create a story. Users need to make sure they have the create issue permission for the project. To create a story, we need to go to the create issue screen. The create issue screen can be reached by clicking on the create button. Then, we can pick the project and pick story for the issue type. For this demo, I will be using the fly high project. For my summary, I will fill in, as a flyer, I should be able to search flights. Then I can add a description, assign a priority, assign it to another employee, and link it with an epic or a sprint. Then we hit create to make the story. Let us go to the story page now. In the story page, you can see details about the story, such as who it was assigned to and the priority. Now, let us write test cases for the story. You can see that the QMetry plugin has added an extra panel here for test cases. Think of a test case as one single atomic activity with a group of actions that the end user needs to perform. From here, Users can either link an existing test case or create a new one. If we hit Add Test Case, it will take us to the Issue Creation screen. And here, we can make test cases in the same way that we made a story. The other option is to reuse the test case. Reusability is a cornerstone of agility, and we provide a direct way to reuse an existing test case. For our story, the first test case will be verify if a flyer is able to search flights. As I have a large team of people, let's see if somebody has already created this test case. In the search box, I will enter verify and hit enter. And here I see that test case. So I will click on the checkbox and hit submit. And now it will be linked. Now let us open this test case and add a few test steps within it. A test step consists of a step summary, test data, and the expected result. To create a new test step, you can enter data into these fields here and click on the checkbox. If you want more room while writing test steps, you can drag the bottom corner of this box. Test steps are also wiki markup enabled. This can be seen by this test step here in bold. You can check our documentation for more info on this topic. If you click on the question mark here, you can view our documentation page. You can clone a test step by going to the gear icon on the right and clicking clone. Cloning a test step creates an identical copy of the test step, which can then be edited. This is useful when you want to have a test step with very minor changes. You can also delete a test step from the same menu. The position of these test steps can be changed by using these drag handles on the side here. A quick note is that all of these actions can be performed for test cases too in the same way. When you clone a test case, the underlying test steps will also get copied. Another item to note is test scenarios. 
A test scenario is a group of test cases. You can create new test scenarios using the same Add Test Case button and selecting Test Scenario for the issue type instead of Test Case. You can also reuse test scenarios, like how we reuse test cases. If you click on this issue type, you can select just test scenarios. If I want to link this one, I can click the checkbox and hit submit. And now it is linked. Now let's open this test case and see what it looks like. This page is similar to the JIRA issue page, since test cases are first-class citizens in JIRA. In this page, you can add test steps in the same way that we added them in the story page. If I scroll down, within the activity section, you can see three extra tab panels. The associated test scenarios tab will tell you how many test scenarios this test case is currently being referenced in. As you can see here, there are no test scenarios associated with this test case. The associated issues tab will tell you how many stories this test case is currently being referenced in. You can see that two stories are referencing this test case. The final tab is the Audit tab. The Audit tab shows the history of changes made to this test case. The Audit tab can also be found on the Story page. The Audit tab can be used to see the who, what, and when of all the changes made to this issue. As we can see here, these are the changes made to the test case and we can see when and who made them without any extra work. Test executions and results summary panels are related to test run and executions. We will talk more about it when we discuss test run and execution.